sequel to the uncoordinated activities of some APC support group, in line with the mission and objectives of the parties APC, especially in the last general election, the concerned stakeholders have come together and unify all support groups under the umbrella Consolidated APC Grassroots Movement, CAGRAM. This is the first time that political support groups will come under one umbrella and the action is intended to synergize, harmonize, and promote the party, APC, as the grassroots have held all future elections in Nigeria. It is on this note that group was inaugurated in Abuja on Friday by the APC National Chairman, Dr. Imaru Ganduje, speaking with the national officials of the group. The further refer what will be the benefit the party will gain from this initiative. Oh, this is, this is unprecedented. Um, hitherto, what political parties started operating after 2015, or just a bit before 2015, is what we call support groups. You have people who gather themselves and say, we are supporters of this party, and then they gather people and all that. But along the line, we felt that APC must show leadership. Because today, APC is almost in charge of all the states and has become a household political party. But there is no solid group within the party that can really galvanize grassroots support for the party. And so we decided that we must metamorphose from support groups to a political movement. And that was why we conducted the first election within a political party for political groups. So this is the first time in any political party in Nigeria that groups within a party is organizing elections from national through zonal down to polling units and then after hold formal inauguration. So it's unprecedented. Okay, today we are, we are here for two purposes. In the morning hours at, here at Nikon Luxury Hotel Abuja, we are electing our zonal and state officers for CAGRAM. These are the grassroots mobilizers for the APC. So that's what that's the process going on here right now. Yeah, I don't think uh, it, it worked out well. The only thing is that there wasn't good coordination. And secondly, you see, most people were just cajoled to be part of one group or the other. What we're doing now that is very, very instructive is that people are fighting to take up positions. First, you must have to pay nomination fee. Then you stand for election. That is phenomenal. Nobody is cajoled to be part of what we're doing. So we believe that what will happen in 2027 by reason of CAGRAM will be superlative for APC. The mobilization and grassroots will be more powerful, more organized and structured and more effective. Okay, so before now, people went into the grassroots, the villages, and mobilized for our dear party without proper documentation. And as a result, after the elections, it was difficult to reward those who have really worked for the party. So we came up, we came up with this system where everything is streamlined. You go to different uh, positions or communities, states, to carry out specific assignments and report back to the national here in Abuja. So as a result, it's easy for us to reward those who have put in their efforts. Well, you know, when you defeat somebody all around, the person must have an excuse for the loss. You know, APC is doing very well. More importantly, now that we have a core politician, Asawaju Tinubu as president, you know, nobody can take it from him. This is a man who stayed away from holding office for over 20 years. While his mates, who were governors with him, were jumping from Senate to this and that, he stayed away. He was building, he was supporting until he was able to galvanize APC as a political party. And he moved President Buhari to become president. Even Buhari himself didn't believe that he would be president. So now the man is on the saddle as president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. What do you expect? He's going to change the narrative for APC for good. So everybody, the opposition parties, especially PDP, very scared. 
so they want to bring up blackmail of what we don't use juju to play politics what we do is discuss and engage look at what is happening here today from all over the country people who paid for nomination forms who are coming to run for election that is massive grassroots mobilization when we finish it and we begin to deliver votes for apc they say it's juju oh no there's nothing like that so yes uh, i'm already congratulating our new officers it's, this is one of its kind. This is the first time any political party is bringing together a grassroots movement. So I will say congratulations to all those who will be inaugurated by 3 p.m. today. Our national chairman, His Excellency Umar Gandije, will be inaugurating us. So it's, it's a huge celebration in our party and in, the, in our country's democracy. So uh, in the just... Uh, what of advice uh, in the party and general? What message do you pass to the party, uh, APC as a party? Okay. Um, my message is simple. We are doing well as a party. We are for progress. And I encourage the leadership of the party to keep up the good work, to carry everyone along as they have always done. And I know we'll keep doing well as a party and keep growing. Finally, sir, what is the message for other uh, officers that will be elaborated? Yeah, our message is very clear. Take this as a privilege, not a right. It's an opportunity for everybody to express and exert him or herself as a political empire and a political leader. So as you finish your inauguration today, go back to your zone, go back to your state and get ready because in January we're going to inaugurate, we're going to first of all hold the election for the ward, for the local government and for the polling unit. It is the officers being inaugurated today that will take charge and make sure that Kagram gets to the unit level. Consolidated APC grassroots movement, Kagram, it will not be at a point if one say that APC is going to capture the grassroots and is ready to take it all in the next election in Nigeria. Tolulopayo Ludayo, reporting for Nisport Africa TV.